All right, men, welcome to today's episode of Strong Men, Strong Marriages, how to be the man your wife passionately desires. So I know this is something you guys want, and you can. You can become that man. We're going to talk about how today. My name is Mike Frazier, MD. I'm a psychiatrist and marriage coach, and I help high-achieving Christian men have more intimate marriages. So wins this week from guys in my program. Guys, they're reconnecting after after separation, moving back in together, enjoying that time. You know, wives are just excited to be back together again. Uh, it's huge, right? Huge, huge changes, huge wins. Uh, guys are having sexual connection again after going years without it. So cool, so amazing. Guys are laughing, talking, feeling like best friends again, having that mental and emotional connection and fun that they've been looking for. A lot of the guys that I talk to, that's that's what one of the things they miss the most is just laughing and having fun together. And, and a lot of guys come in, they have that problem. And now they're there again, laughing, having fun. Guys are finally sharing their emotions. And look, as high achieving guys, sometimes we, we kind of stuff those emotions. We've learned to do that. But now guys are doing that, which is what's necessary to create that intimacy that you want. One of the guys I talked to this week, he said he he didn't think they could be having any more sex than they're having right now. So, uh, but, you know, generating that mental, emotional and sexual intimacy that, that we want that makes marriage special. Uh, this week was my anniversary. And just looking back, just so grateful for my wife. So grateful for the, you know, her sticking with me through a lot of, you know, me being the kind of guy describing here a lot, you know, that mosquito, that superior guy thinking I'm better, all that, you know, she stuck with me. Um, she's been through stuff too. I stuck with her and, you know, those hard times, they formed us, right? They made us stronger, really unbreakable now. And it's just fun to celebrate that together. So if you're, if you're going through a rough patch in your marriage right now, just understand that can turn into something that cements the two of you, but you got to learn certain skills and, and tools. And we're going to talk about that today. So what are you trying right now to, to be that man that your wife passionately desires? So you're listening to this podcast, which is fine, right? It's, it's great. Um, you're reading books, like you're trying to, to inform yourself. All that's good. Um, you're taking that approach, maybe happy wife, happy life. You're doing everything you can to, to make her happy. You're doing the five love languages. You're getting her gifts. You're writing her notes. You're... Um, he, what are the rest of them? Um, uh, gifts, notes, acts of service, you know, cooking, cleaning, doing stuff around the house, helping with the kids, um, you know, trying to do physical touch, although she probably is maybe turning you down or turning away from your hugs and kisses right now. And that's what's frustrating, right? You're participating in church. You, you're, you feel like you have a pretty good spiritual life. You're trying to connect with God. Um, so you're you're trying to do all the right things and from the outside looking in a lot of people would say hey man he's he's awesome you know he's a great guy he's he's solid in the community he's great at his job um you know maybe you're even maybe girls at work are complimenting you you know if you're a doctor or a um you know an executive a professional you may work with women who sort of admire you and look up to you you know when i was in um offices that happened you know, and so it starts making you think like, man, what's wrong with my wife? Why can't she see how great I am? And so it starts getting frustrated because you're like, a lot of other women are attracted to me and, and I'm getting attention and appreciation and people think I'm great, but my wife doesn't. And that starts getting really frustrating. <laughs> it seems unfair. So this is all part of that mosquito cycle that we talk about, right? You're doing these nice things, doing quote unquote, all the right things. You're expecting and hoping for attention, appreciation, affection, and sex from your wife. Right? And you start getting frustrated when you don't get it, which is understandable. And then you explode at her. You're mad. Hey, like all these other people see this. Why can't you? You don't appreciate me. That's not fair. You're not a good wife. You know, you might be saying stuff like that to her, or you're escaping into pornography, or you know, maybe having an affair, or maybe you're just like overworking, or you're just numbing your emotions, like with alcohol or stuff like that. So then you feel guilty after doing all that. And so you go back to doing nice things for her and you're just kind of caught in this cycle. Um, this is not how you make your wife passionately attracted to you. This is not how you make her passionately desire you. The problem is a lot of us think that, especially as Christian guys, we think, oh no, this is the path, right? Happy wife, happy life, do everything that she wants. That's how we get there. Okay. 
It's just not. So the bigger problem though, and this is what we're talking about today in, in this, you know, today and Thursday, we're talking about this. The, the bigger problem is that you're trying to do this on your own. And, and look, as a achieving man, that makes sense. You know, we want to be this quote unquote self-made man. We want, we, you've accomplished a lot doing things on your own. Kind of, I'm going to challenge that in a minute here. It, it seems more manly, kind of do it yourself. Yeah, let me just learn. Let me just like get some books and stuff and, and all of that. Um, but the thing is, it's, it's not effective. It's not working, right? You're not getting the results that you're wanting. The This self-made man idea, it's, it's not real. It's not accurate. Okay, so business, if you've got a business hero out there, um, they had mentors along the way to help them learn different things, to teach them different things, okay? If you've got sports heroes, all of them, they have coaches, right, that have helped them learn skills and hone skills and become better at what they do, okay? Even Jesus, right? Jesus, he was guided by his father, and he gave his father credit all the time for guiding him. You know, he says, I don't do anything but what I see the father do. That's this is what you've got to understand. Guys who accomplish a lot in their lives, they have guides. They have people to help them. They're humble enough to learn and seek out the help that they need. Okay. So this is this is what's called the hero's journey. So if you've ever read the book um, Story Brand, Building a Story Brand, uh, he talks about this in there. But this is the this is the main plot of like any movie that you see out there. And the reason why is because it's, it's real life, you know? So what happens is the hero in the story has a problem. So they use like Luke Skywalker in, in star Wars. But if you, if you look, you'll see this in any movie. So, you know, Luke, you know, he, uh, you know, his home gets, uh, his parents die, you know, all that. Um, you, you got the Death Star out there. So there's the problem, right? Um, so then he he meets a guide, okay? So he meets Yoda, Obi-Wan, right? These people that, that guide him and teach him how to use the Force, okay? And then he, the hero then comes to a solution. So, you know, in the, uh, you know, in Star Wars, he's able to, like, use the Force. He blows up the Death Star. You know, it's, uh, he does it. And... But he wouldn't, he couldn't have done it on his own. That's the thing. He needed that guide to help him. Now, you might say, well, that's because Luke was weak, but it's not true. This is what I'm trying to get across to you. Uh, a strong man gets help. A strong man gets coaching. A strong man goes out and seeks out help and advice. Okay. This is like the transition I'm making in my own business right now is not just getting mentors, but also building a team to help me help more men. Um, it's a growth process. The like Stephen Covey talks about a transition from uh, dependence, which is like when you're a kid and you're again dependent on other people. And even sometimes guys, when they come into the program, they're dependent on their wife to build up their self worth, and that's kind of what's going on in the mosquito cycle. So there's dependence, and then there's independence, where you're doing stuff on your own. You know, you're accomplishing things. You're, uh, you know able to stand on your own two feet, that kind of thing. And then after that, though, is interdependence. And this is where we help others and they help us and we accomplish more together than we can alone. So if you are, you're probably, if you're not experiencing good intimacy in your marriage, you're either stuck in dependence or you're stuck in independence, right? You're stuck in dependence, relying on your wife to build up your self-esteem or you're stuck in independence trying to do everything on your own and not getting the help to help you get to that next level and help you really become that man that she passionately desires. So again, like getting a coach, getting someone to help you, it's the next phase in your development. It's interdependence. It's where you start working together with people, building a team. So it doesn't mean you're weak. It just means you're making the right next progression in your story. So just watch for it in movies, watch for it in, you know, what it shows, watch for it with the people you really admire. Look, you're going to see they had help. They had mentors, they had guides to help them get there. They had coaches. 
Okay, so and it's kind of fun to watch this in movies. You'll you'll see it right every single movie. You know, there's the main character, the hero. Every single time they've got a problem. Every single time they meet a guide who helps them get through it, gives them some insight they didn't have on their own. Okay, it's it's just what happens. And what I believe, right, is that it's because God created us to help each other. Okay, it, you know, this is what I do. I help men have better marriages. You know, become stronger, more attractive men. Okay. But there's so much I go out and get help with, you know, for for my business, for my uh, for my home, for the, you know the car I drive, right? All of that relies on other people that have certain skills and, and we're built to help each other and be interdependent. So instead of taking this, oh, like I'm going to do it all myself mindset, look for a guide, look for a mentor who can help you become this man that you want to be and that your wife is passionately attracted to. Stop trying to do it yourself. So why this works, it's the guide's job to help the hero. Okay. So, and you know, I, this is the way I teach and this is what we do, but it's also true. Like if you watch it in these, um, in movies or in, in anything, right. The guide's job, they help the hero, right. So what if you came in to me and wanted me to help coach you and me and my team, what we do is help you identify and eliminate negative, unattractive patterns of thinking, feeling, and acting. So coming back to Star Wars, you know, Luke Skywalker, he comes in and uh, he's got a lot of negative thinking. He doesn't really know how to, you know, use the force and all that. So he's got these negative patterns. When guys come into my program, they've got negative, unattractive patterns of thinking, feeling, and acting in their marriage. They, they feel superior. They're doing the mosquito cycle. Um, they're losing their temper or they're stuffing their emotions. You know, that's the kind of stuff that's going on for them. They've had an affair. They've been unfaithful, right? So they've got these negative, unattractive patterns. So the guide's job then is to help them replace those with positive, attractive patterns. So Luke Skywalker, you know, Obi-Wan helps him master his emotions, which we also do in the program. Um, helps him learn how to use the force, right? Do those kind of things, trains him in lightsaber fighting, all of that. Um, so with us, you know, we teach you, okay, how do you manage your own thoughts and emotions better? How do I communicate well with my wife? How do I listen? How do I express myself? How do I start actually asking for what I want? How do I start saying no? How do I start bringing intimacy in a way that is fun and flirting and passion back to the marriage? So we start learning that, okay? But then, and this is what a lot of like programs and counselors and all that will miss is, and I used to miss this too, is just because you learn the new pattern doesn't mean that's going to become the new habit. You have to actually practice that new pattern until it becomes a habit. So we follow those three steps in the program. And this was helping guys get amazing results really quickly because we apply these principles. Okay. It's the same principles if you were going to go see a sports coach. Okay. Or like, uh, let's say you're trying to shoot baskets better. They're going to help you see your shooting form that's problematic, right? Identify and eliminate the negative. They're going to give you a new shooting form that's better, but that you're not done after that. You have to go practice that new shooting form until it's a habit. So we do the same thing in the program. We just help rewire your brain so that you become strong and attractive on default. So what we're doing in Strong Men Strong Marriages, we help you be that hero, you know, to yourself, to your wife, to your kids, by be, being the man that God wants you to be, by stepping into your strength, spiritual, mental, emotional, physical, and sexual strength, becoming the strongest, most attractive version of yourself that you can. Okay, that's what we help you do. And like I shared at the beginning, guys are getting amazing results quickly by following this process. So overall, what do you build? What do you need to become the man that your wife is passionately attracted to? You need a strong sense of self that's based in God. Okay. When you have that, you're not so relying on her to build you up. You know, David Schnarch says your wife can build up your ego or your penis, but not both. Okay, prop up your ego or your penis, but not both. So you connecting that self-worth to God, right? You don't need anybody to build you up. You feel good about who you are. You need the ability to manage your own thoughts and emotions. A lot of guys can't do this very well. They stuff their emotions. They get angry. They get frustrated all the time. So what we have to do is look at how do I manage those emotions in the moment? And then how do I get to the root of that and really change that pattern? Okay. And manage my thoughts and emotions better. You need communication skills to be able to listen really well. So a lot of guys will have a hard time with this because they can't manage their emotions well. So their wife will come to them. They'll say stuff like, 
bring up their past mistakes and guys can't manage their emotions. The wife will say no to sex. Guys can't manage their emotions. So you need to be able to do that, be able to get into her shoes and then express yourself clearly. Start asking for what you want. Some guys are actually pretty good at listening, but they're not very good at expressing themselves and like standing up for what they actually want, asking for what they want. So you also need the ability to turn conflict into connection and get to win-wins. Okay, this is huge. This is what creates the kind of marriage you want. And again, all of this, that's you becoming the man your wife passionately desires. When you have a strong sense of self-worth, you're solid in who you are. You're a man of your word. You're a man of integrity. You manage your own thoughts and emotions well. Like you're a strong, attractive man. She wants to be around you now. So now she's going to start approaching you. She wants to be around you. You need to be able to communicate well. She's like, man, this guy knows me. He understands me. We have this mentally emotional connection. You know, we're able to turn conflict into win-wins. And then you add to that, that romance, you know, your, your, your quote unquote game, right? Your ability to flirt and have fun and, and have sex that's fun and, and passionate and intimate. So now you are the man that your wife passionately desires. You've got a strong sense of self. You're attracted because of that. You can communicate with her well. You've got mentally emotional connection. Okay, your wife feels safe with you because you are solid in who you are. Then you add that mentally emotional connection through your communication. Then you add the sexual connection through your ability to create romance and all of that. So this is what we can help you do. So follow the hero's journey and get a guide. Okay, Get a guide to help you. Get a coach. So we at Strong Men, Strong Marriages, we would love to be that for you. Who we help, right? The, the, the hero we're helping is the high achieving Christian man who wants a more intimate marriage. Okay, that's who we're helping. So if you're a Christian guy who is a high achiever, you're, you're a, a professional, you're a doctor, a dentist, a, you know, business owner, an executive, you, you've been successful in your career, but you're not su as successful as you want to be in your marriage. You don't have that connection in your marriage. That's that's us because there are certain mindsets and things that you carry into the marriage that work pretty well in the workplace, but they work really poorly in a marriage. So we help you rewire that, create the connections that you want. So if that's you, you're the high achieving Christian man, look, you're used to getting coaching in business, in, um, in sports and all of that. This is just doing the same thing for your marriage. And there's some it's getting less. I mean, there's some stigma around that still, I think, or some kind of like uh, confusion that, well, can I do that? Yeah, you can do that. And that's what this program is, like getting the coaching to become great at your marriage, to build up these strengths and skills that will make you the man that your wife passionately desires. So come join us in Strong Men, Strong Marriages. There's a special offer this week that ends Thursday. If you're on the email list, you'll see it. This may be the last time I make that offer. Um, so I'd, I'd recommend getting on the list. So go ahead and visit strongmenstrongmarriages.com or click the link in the show notes to, uh, fill out an application, we'll get on the email list. You'll, you'll see the offer there. So, all right, men stay strong. We will see you next episode. Again, visit strongmenstrongmarriages.com or the link in the show notes and come join us. We'll be, we'll be the guide to help you be that man that your wife passionately desires.